Anyways, today's gonna be a full day of eating. Um, I actually woke up really early today to make some breakfast. So, what I have for breakfast is pancakes. I have protein pancakes, that's roughly about 200 to 300 grams. Um, not of protein, of calories. And I also had one cup of almond milk, that's about 30 calories. So, in all, let's say that's about 350 calories. Let's just say it's 350 calories um, to be safe. Now, next thing, we're gonna go get the second meal of the day. Uh, I already made my meals for today. I used like two of my meals from yesterday, so um, I got two more meals left for today. I made a total of four meals yesterday, so I only ate two of them. I had snacks for the rest of the meals. And that's what I'm gonna be doing today too. So I still am in a caloric surplus, meaning surplus? Or... You guys get the gist of it. I'm gonna be eating less calories than I normally do to lose body fat. And right now, I'm gonna go make that second meal. By the way guys, I like to have a little snack throughout the day, so sometimes I have these cough drops. I know it's kind of dumb, um, it just helps with breathing. Uh, sometimes I have it during my workout, I mean, it helps breathe. So when I'm working out, I have better breathing throughout my workouts. And I mean, that's just a little snack I have, I know it's kind of dumb, but it's not really much calories. I don't even say how many calories it is. I was sick not that long ago, that's probably why I still have it, but I still have a little bit here and there. Okay, so right now we're gonna be making my protein shake. It's kind of a special shake I've been making these past few weeks. That didn't make me gain any weights, and it's still a lot of low calories, but tastes really good. So, we're gonna be using this guy to make that shake. And it's gonna taste something like a Starbucks chocolate shake. Does that make sense? You know when you get a Starbucks, um, like, Frappuccino? There's like little chocolate flakes in them? Well, that's what it's gonna taste like. It's gonna taste really good. It's gonna be about, I'd say, 300 calories. So it's really not that much of, like, it's not too, too many calories. Um, you can make it lower. Um, I'm gonna add a little bit of things that's gonna make it taste better, and that's why it's gonna be higher calories. Um, the protein is obviously gonna be in it, and protein is already 160 calories per scoop. So whatever else I put in there, it's only gonna be about 150 calories, so it's not too bad. Anyways, I'm gonna go make this right now, and I'll show you guys exactly what I'm putting in. So first off, we're gonna be doing protein. Whey protein, this is about a 50, this vanilla whey protein. Uh, this is gonna be 160 calories. I don't know if you guys can, can see there. Whey protein is the first one. Next up, we got here cacao. We're gonna be putting a scoop of cacao. It's gonna make, not a bittery taste, but a little bit of a chocolate taste. Um, it's gonna add on to the vanilla, taste, making it taste really, really good. So don't put too much of it, because it's gonna make it really bitter. But still add, you know, roughly a scoop. Maybe a small scoop. Uh, I can't say as exactly how many grams because it depends on how much you you guys personally want. How chocolatey, chocolatey you guys want it. Um, so you guys could use this one, or you could just use um, chocolate uh, protein powder. Uh, all depends on you. I just kind of like the vanilla protein powder. This is actually my favorite protein, and I'll explain the reason why later on. But anyways, cacao is the next ingredient. Ingredient number three is the hazelnut Nesquik. Um, how do I don't know what this is? Coffee. Hazelnut coffee. Now this is 10 calories per two grams. 10 calories per two grams. So we're gonna have a scoop of this to our um, shake here. It's gonna make us have a little bit of a coffee taste towards it. And I like coffee. I think everybody likes coffee. It's probably better to use something like an espresso because it's zero calories. But this one I'm gonna use for today. Um, and now I'll show you guys my last, I think that's the last ingredient, if I'm not mistaken. You could always add more. This is just what I do. Here's the last ingredient. Boom. What is this? What, what is it? Chocolate. Yes. Two pieces of chocolate. Now, on the packet it says four pieces equals 220 calories, meaning two pieces should only be 110 calories. Yes, there's some sugar in it. It's chocolate. This is milk chocolate. You can go with any chocolate you want. Um, probably there's a better choice out there, you know, like dark chocolate or something not like milk chocolate 
but I mean it's so small, it's going to add so little calories towards my total caloric intake throughout the day. So this is what I'm going to use to make it taste really good. Um, at the bottom of the shake, you guys will see later, that there's these little chocolate chunks that taste so good after you drink all that shake. And honestly, it's going to finish off the entire shake itself. So we got ourselves a coffee, we got ourselves a cow, we got ourselves the protein powder. Now, actually, <laughs> I forgot what I'm going to add to make it all liquidy. So I'm going to show you guys right now. So now the final ingredient is vanilla almond milk. Now, so you can see here, 30 calories per cup. This is an unsweetened vanilla, uh, not protein, almond milk. And the reason why I really like this product is because it's the same amount of calcium per one cup of milk. Meaning you're getting the same nutritious value from almond milk that you would from regular milk. So you could really substitute that for this because milk is way higher calories, has sugar, has all that, you know, junk. It's not like natural, normal milk. So with almond milk, you can still get the same amount of nutrition with way less calories. I believe a cup of milk is roughly about 200 calories. Um, this is only 30 calories, and I can put two cups of this. It'll be 60 calories. Add on everything else, and it'll be a great, great shake. You could also add a banana. Whatever else you guys want to add on. But remember, towards what you add on, that will add on more calories, so be smart as to what you're adding on in your shake. So from this, you'll be getting a nice frothy flavor. A little bit of like, I don't want to call it froth on the top. With some chocolate, you can taste the chocolate, you can taste the coffee. It just tastes amazing. You don't taste, it doesn't taste like plain almond milk. And that's what a lot of people, one thing I want to talk about. I know I'm talking about the shake and all that tastes really good. Go on and on and on. But one thing I do want to talk about is a lot of people lack the nutrition factor when it comes to cutting down, when it comes to doing preps. Um, I know with my first and second prep that I did not drink enough milk. I did not have enough calcium in my diet. My bones felt really weak. That could lead to osteoporosis, meaning weak bones. You could even break a bone. You could, you could do a lot. This, and that's just one factor. Um, <coughs> sorry. Vitamins. I was not having, <laughs> I was not having many fruits. I was having vegetables, but I was not having many fruits. I wasn't even eating enough vegetables for that matter. I wasn't eating no carbs, which I am on a keto diet, and I've always specified that keto diet are the best diets, but I do my own version of the keto diet, meaning I do include carbs. Um, I do it smartly. For instance, every morning I roughly include a little bit of carbs here and there, um, whether it's coming from fruits, whether it's coming from uh, a pancake, uh, instead of just eggs. You know, you need those vitamins, those essential vitamins, those essential nutrients throughout your entire day, throughout your entire life to keep you normal, keep you stable. And I look better, I feel better right now because I'm doing that. Um, with this prep, I've still been eating healthy and I've been doing all my cardio, I'm doing everything and I'm still losing a lot of weight and I'm still getting to do shakes like this and I'm getting to eat treats here and there. Um, and the reason for that is I'm doing it smartly. I'm looking at the calories, calories, calories and that's what's determining whether I'm going to eat it or not. Now, um, if you can look at my past videos, I've had many snacks. I've never really talked about it too much, but I would even add cheese string for a snack. It's only 60 calories, um, mozzarella cheese string. You could do many other things. That's just one example. Now, that's the main thing to look for is the calories, the sugars, and the fats. Not necessarily too much because if it's healthy food, healthy fats, um, you shouldn't have big of a problem, but it could like up the calories at the same time. It's good to have in your diets. Um, that's why I have, which I'll be showing later. I'll be having, um, honey flavored peanut butter, not honey flavored, just honey added on in peanut butter, uh, with some rice cakes. So I'll be showing you guys that later, how many calories is in it roughly, you know, uh, for each rice cake. Now, that's what I'm talking about guys. A lot of people lack their nutrition because they're so strict on themselves. They want to lose so much weight that like even fruits, the fact that fruits have carbs, and a lot of people don't even know that. A lot of people don't know that fruits have carbohydrates. Actually, they have a lot of carbohydrates, uh, depending on the 
uh, fruit itself. For instance, berries, blueberries especially have a lot. Raspberries have a lot. Uh, I go on and on. But fruits do have a lot of carbs. And a lot of people do not know that. But they do have a lot of great nutrients for your body to make it, to maintain itself really, to stay at that homeostasis. Now, do not cancel out any of those foods. And I can't stress enough from my own experience, that you should not cancel them out. I had a the worst, the worst. When I did my first and second prep, it was one of the hardest things I've ever done. And now I'm looking back at it, it's, a, it's because I wasn't having fun with it. I wasn't enjoying myself. I wasn't having the things I wanted. I wasn't really eating what I was supposed to eat. I was having lots of cravings. Now, I'm not really having many cravings. I mean, last night I had noodles. I don't think you're supposed to have any noodles on a prep, but I had noodles. Um, I'm looking a little flat right now, but, but because it has lots of sodium in it and it's holding onto a lot of water. Um, and those noodles were only 30 carbs and um, high in sodium, obviously, but only 200 calories. And I could work around 200 calories. I could work around 30 carbs. Uh, I just, you know, maybe starve myself for an hour or, or two hours and I could still have a snack or I could still have some food. Like, a lot of people think of it too drastic, right? You don't have to be eating every single hour. You don't have to be eating every two, single two hours. You know, you can have bigger meals earlier, smaller meals later, bigger meals later, smaller meals earlier. You know, just work around your schedule, guys. And that's why um, I believe a lot of people do coaching, like for meal preps, is because they don't know how to work around their own schedule. And I'm trying to tell you today that um, don't make it very strict as to how when you're supposed to eat and how you're supposed to eat. Do it based on your schedule. Now, if you're working lots, you should probably eat the majority of your meals during your work time. Um, if it consists of like actual movements, if you're just like an office job, I would have just small meals, honestly, throughout the entire time. Then when it comes to the workout time, include those bigger meals that will overall be around 2000 calories, maybe just under, right? So just work around the schedule, guys. I just want to say, eat your nutrients, get all your calcium in, get everything you need when you're prepping, not just, you know, plain old chicken, fish and vegetables, guys. You gotta drink, you gotta eat, you gotta you gotta do everything, guys, okay? So, uh, I'm gonna drink my shake right now. I don't think I have anything else to say at this moment, but I'll show you guys my next meal in three, two, one. Another great snack that you guys should try out are these little sushi things. This is, um, sushi things. Sushi, sushi things. Seaweed. This is seaweed. I don't know why I'm getting all these things wrong. So it's seaweed. Now with seaweed, it has 40 calories per five sheets. Now, and that's a 0 0.5 grams of fat, 85 milligrams or, yeah, milligrams of sodium, and six grams of carbs, six grams of protein. That's not bad at all. Um, so definitely try this out. Here, I'll show you guys the nutrition facts. I'm just gonna turn this around. There we go. So it's definitely not bad for, I mean, it's, it's low calories, 40 calories, it's nothing really. Um, great protein for only five sheets, you know, good. it's six grams of fiber as well. Um, and the carbs are really low, only six grams of carbs. So overall, great snack to have throughout the day, you know, whenever you feel like it. Doesn't have to be all the time, but you know, it's a little snack that I like to have when I'm on my diet. Okay, so our next meal is gonna be here. We got two meal preps right here from yesterday. It's gonna be chicken and mixed vegetables. First one here, and take it out. And it's roughly one chicken breast per meal. I've been doing this for the past, I'd say, a good six weeks. And mixed vegetables, as you guys can see, I fry the mixed vegetables, and with the chicken, I just grill it on that grill. You can kind of see over here. Let me zoom in. Just over there. Now we're gonna warm this up for roughly about a minute and forty-five seconds, and then we're gonna make ourselves some rice cakes here. Okay, so this will be the next meal. It's gonna be two rice cakes with peanut butter on each, honey flavored as I showed earlier. And we got here our chicken and mixed vegetables. We're gonna double that to our total caloric intake for the day. But I'm gonna be eating this, then I got one more meal, which I already added onto the calories. 
Um, and I probably will be having one more snack before I go to bed, whether it's rice cakes or I'll figure something out. It's going to be a small snack before I go to bed, so I'm going to show you guys right now. Thanks,